Hello children. In this video lecture, I will explain you poem 2 of Hornbill. Poem 2, The Lambernum Top, written by Ted Huggs. Edward James Ted Huggs was a modern English poet and critics ranked him as one of the best poets of the period. Among the important poets of the latter half of the 20th century, Ted Huggs' special contribution to English poetry lies in the creation of a poetic world with a central interest in wild animals and birds. His poetic inspiration is born out of and focused on the peculiar but intimate influence that animals of forest, trees and the sky have on a sensitive human spirit. This I have just briefed you about the poet. Now, let's know about the poem. The poem revolves around a lumbanum tree and a goldfinch bird. The core theme of the poem shows us the repaying relationship between the two. Further, it begins by describing how the lumbanum tree is pretty quiet in the yellow September light. He notices the yellow leaves of the tree and the seeds on the ground. It appears to be still fleetingly till a goldfinch bird perches on its branch. The poet witnesses the tree come to the life as soon as the bird starts chirping. Upon the arrival of the mother goldfinch, the tree and the nestlings start chirping and becomes alive. She keeps flying in and out to feed her young ones. Thus, when she leaves, the tree once again dons its elusive silence. Let's start an explanation of the poem. The lambanum top is silent, quite still, in the afternoon yellow September sunlight. A few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. The lambanum tree is silent. Its leaves towards its top portion are not making any movement. It is an afternoon of September month. There is good amount of sunlight on the tree. Some of its leaves have become yellow. All the seeds have fallen on the ground. Poet, poet has described sunshine as yellow. Leaf of trees are also described as yellow. Poet is trying to give a monotonous color to the surroundings. The monotony represents here in these lines sadness. Till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end. The sadness prevails till a goldfinch comes to the tree. It is twitching its tail and making high pitched sound. It suddenly sits on an end of a branch that was a surprise. Then slick as a lizard and alert and abrupt, she enters the thickness and a machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings. The whole tree trembles and thrills. The goldfinch is thin like a lizard. It is alert and moving sudden steps, meaning that it jumps a bit then stops, again jumps forward and stops. The bird is moving in the direction the branch is becoming thicker, meaning that the bird is moving towards center of the tree. As she moves towards the center of the tree, its kids start making a continuous noise like a machine. They start flapping their wings and making sounds. Their happiness makes every part of the tree happy. The tree that was still earlier is now vibrating 
with happiness. It is the engine of her family. She stokes it full, then flirts out of a branch end, showing her bared face, identity mask. The baby birds and the trees are the cause of motivation for the bird. Hence, these are termed as engines for goldfinch. Then she starts moving out towards the end of the branch again and there are black stripes on his face. These stripes are looking like a mask on her face. Her yellow body and a black face is her identity. Then with airy delicate whistle chirrup, whisperings, she launches away towards the infinite and the number lump subsides to empty. The goldfinch then starts making a strange but pleasant sound in low volume. It is just like a soft whistle. Then it jumps off the branch and starts flying in the air and in the infinite world. The number num tree again becomes sad and lonely. At that time, through the chicks of the bird are in the nest, but they are also not making any noise. So, it is silence in the tree. Children, now here I have given central idea of the poem. Please refer it and write down in your notebook. And here I have given textual exercise, textual question answer. These you have to learn also for your upcoming exams and uh, write it in your notebook. Now for the slides I have explained you figures of speech of the poem line wise. Revise it. Learn all the rules of the figures of speech. Thank you.